different instruments too because you can learn from them but it's better you got to keep reminding yourself to like like go sink a little deeper in then we like kind of like get captivated more as well like those you're, you're doing it already so like just do everything just go imagine like whatever maybe like a heavier a heavier bow you know what i did actually i i switched my bow technique to russian bow so that i could just not have to change too much except for one thing and then i just went like so the difference was like to like this Just everything's a little bit more intention. I have to like, it's it's a little clumsier actually, right? The Russian bow is not easy, but because of its clumsiness, I have to manually like focus a little bit more and that's just enough. That's the secret to unlocking like just my potential, right? So you can think about that. There's all these little things that you should try and you should try all of them, like playing with or without shoulder rest, because you never know, you could unlock something that's like, that just works for you. Right? So I, that's what I learned. I learned with shoulder rest, side shoulder rest, middle shoulder rest, you know, over the, the different shoulder rest, like, like, like chin rest, sorry. And then different shoulder rest. I've tried like every single shoulder rest there is. I've like switched around even the pegs on the instrument, just everything, all the different strings there are, you know, different woods to match the instrument. Did you know that like, I mean, there's like ebony, rosewood, boxwood, and pernambuco. Those are the four main types of woods, right? For both your pegs, your, your, your accessories, basically. Any sort of accessory. And they can change, vastly change the sound. So uh, ebony is a, a brighter sound. Rosewood is a darker sound. So if your instrument is already too bright, you might try rosewood. It's heavier. It's sort of, I, wouldn't, I don't know if I'd go for that. But ebony is like brighter, only bright. But if you go Pernambuco, it's zingier. Boxwood is sort of warmer. Yeah, so those are, uh, that's like a general sense. And then you can, you know, there's also the, the, this thing, uh, the, the tailpiece. The thing that wraps around the tailpiece, I don't even know what it's called, but it's the thing and people use plastic or Kevlar, don't use Kevlar. It's very, it absorbs sound. Your bridge is like, like you know, how high, how thick, thinner bridges. And it's a pretty thin bridge with a height, I would say. That could be a change. Different things can change different things. You know, I mean, this, this instrument, it's a modern instrument. I'm sure you realize that by now. It's just made in 2008, so, you know, but it sounds like I make it sound like it's the best instrument, right? Because I've trained it. I've like done all these things to it, right? But it's like, because you, I've spent so much time on it. That's what a great instrument has compared to a modern. It's the time that's been spent on it. All the care over the hundreds of years. Like, but if you put enough care, you can accelerate that process yourself as well. A lot, yeah. Like, and you know your instrument better than you know my instrument. Right? When you start playing mine, it's like, oh, like it was like kind of, oh, 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 like, yeah, it was great, it was fun, but it was like not as good as when you play your instrument. So you gotta remember that and believe in your own sound too. A lot of it is belief. When I was starting to play on a modern regularly, I was like always nervous. Oh, are people gonna find out if I'm playing a modern or my, not my strad, you know? And then I just enjoyed it so much because it made me feel like it's my sound, right? No one can take that away from me. So that's, that's something, I mean, Always try different instruments too, because you can learn from them, but try to learn from them. Take, take the sound so that you can produce it on any instrument, right? Like when I try your instrument, like there's not as much of a difference, like as when like we, like when you switch and you like, you know, because you're not used to a different instrument, but yeah. So that, that's something. I know this is all deeper level stuff, but it's because I think that, you know, you're ready for that. 关注我,